probably as a best value for anyone who has just started out. And with a family or friends, those three nights or four nights, five nights, they are some of the best camping because you are really get into the groove and get to know the area. Five night camping. Um, but definitely that's, that's what we try and do throughout some of our trips. Let's just hit up a couple of the no's on there. For me, I would say that a couple of mine I tend to bring a few complex board games. We love our board games. Mm -hmm. And sometimes just cards, crib, one game. Oh, and I bring my newspaper so that I can read books or newspaper. And then it has a double purpose because Shane loves to use it to start the fires <laughs> with at night. I do have to make sure that she's read it before I start the fire. So there's a bit of a... There was a bit of late night, have I read this page or not, so that we can start the fire. Yeah, but I think I sometimes bring too many games. We can yeah. see um, I've got a couple of favorites, so storage-wise, um, i, I, I got to limit, limit to how much I'm, I can bring there. We definitely uh, having the sunscreen and bug spray handy yeah. um, is, is really good. I'd say one thing that I thought was great was on our last adventure that we did, we brought the little blender. Being a big inverter in here, having ice in that big freezer, frozen bag of fruit, and I felt like I was giving everyone a bit of nutrients and love and making some smoothies to share. So <laughs> that's probably a little bit on the, uh, if you really want to spoil yourself, enjoy with a smoothie well, or that's blender. that's kind of what Kimberly is about, spoiling yourself and enjoying. Nice sheets, I think anything from our caravan through nice sheets, nice pillows. It is really comfortable sleep. I'm trying to think of the things that we shouldn't bring and all we do is keep thinking of the ways we enjoy ourselves. Right? Right. <laughs> uh, we're probably thinking about coffee cups. Right, you only need one coffee cup for each person. So often I'll bring too many coffee cups mm -hmm. or plates. Just make sure you clean easily after each meal. I had a fun one the other day. I brought a pot. I thought, man, this is going to be a great pot and realized it didn't work on my induction stove. So that was that was a learning mistake there. Doing a test when, when we went down and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm cooking it in the other pot. Right? Mm -hmm. So checking that your pots and pans do work on that induction stove. Mm -hmm. Tupperware is probably another one. Tupperware is a good thing to bring along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. need some Tupperware along yeah. for leftovers and easy lunches the next day. Yeah. Yeah, baking paper, love a bit of baking paper on there. We're going to try and put together a list over this time and send out a bit of a list of some of our favorite things that work with this. But we just wanted to show you through how we use it, what we do, and how we really love going out and camping. And we actually use this stuff and really enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our videos. I love the comments and where everyone is coming in and seeing us at Sunshine Coast and seeing us in the showroom saying, I've seen your videos, I feel like we know you guys already. Come in for coffee anytime and ask us for coffee. We're happy to give you a good cup of coffee as well. SEQ Campers with Shane and Maud.